When I don't feel like indulging myself in stories told through literature, a surge of graphics across the television screen usually does the trick. Because in my opinion, video games are as creative storytellers as paperbacks and parchment. No matter what kind of video game it is, it always seems to bring a great sense of optimistic nature and adventure to the playground. But there was one game, an oddball game that loomed in obscurity for eons and eons following. I remember the game vaguely and struggled to find it for time and time again. I vaguely remember the graphics and the characters, the atmospheres and surroundings, the defenses and mechanisms, the meanings and the morals. It was all fuzzy, all blurry. All I could interpret was the music, the high-pitched, jingly tune of happy-go-lucky serendipity. The music stuck in my convoluted brain like a shard of nostalgia or fascination. And I tried to use that music to guide me to the mysterious game. It was like a flashlight pulling me through the dark cloudy areas I couldn't see through. It was a heck of a journey. It took months, years, decades perhaps. And I grew jittery. I grew hungry to know what the game was, what it stood for. I felt like ripping my clothes off, turning green, pulling every ounce of hair out of my scalp. There was something about the game that brought on merry memories of pastimes. There was something about the game that brought on merry memories of childhood ambitions, hobbies, and explorations. There was something about the game that brought on merry memories of what I once was. I was a bouncy child, a child who got into everything and was blown to the ceiling by even the simplest of occurrences. I was a child obsessed with purple dinosaurs, mystery solving Great Danes, mice with red shorts, annoying rabbits and flabbergasted ducks, clowns who ate too many hamburgers, and yellow cartoon people who drooled over donuts. I was a child who loved stories and pixelated stories only you could maneuver. I love every ounce of that matter. I still do. I love it as much as a Dr. Pepper rainstorm. But I was destined, destined in one form or another, to come across this game, the glory game of the fond past days. Then, I discovered it, like an archaeologist finding an ancient relic of an ancient tribe. You see, I was a big fanatic of the Adventure Island series of games. Just the title alone made me feel like I was stranded on a desert island, fighting snails with a hammer, and decapitating island demons as I attempted to rescue my girlfriend. I was first introduced to the game series through Super Adventure Island for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, but that game was in the possession of my relatives. And as I sat playing the pixelated adventure, I said to my erratic noggin, there was something familiar about this game series. Something... something remarkably reminiscent. I had to figure it out somehow. You wouldn't believe that that was a heck of a journey as well. I researched the Adventure Island games on the web, and I was stunned to learn that the first game, the game that kick-started things, was a mock of another game, an arcade game to be exact. The game was Wonder Boy. The brain bells started ringing. I rushed to another location of the web and saw footage of the game, but darn it, it was the wrong version. It wasn't the version I recall in my memory strands. It wasn't the one that made me think of how much childhood meant in my spirit. The music wasn't even the same cheerful harmony I whistled as I slept that evening. It was a console version. What a Sunday with hoop topping on top. Talk about a devilish disappointment. But even that devilish disappointment didn't stop me from continuing my research. I simply said to myself, I will search for the arcade version, play it perhaps. I typed in Wonder Boy arcade version, pressed enter, let the screen load, and without a single drop of hesitation, I set my fingers to a small video clip. I pushed the enter button like I was opening a portal to the past. Could this be the game I fancied for thousands of days and nights? Could this be the game that plays that legendary theme as the protagonist rides skateboards to victory? The music still played in my memory strand. The brain bells were about to ring off the hook. It was all about to climb back to the surface. It did, at last! 
The arcade version was the game. The game I doodled with as a curious Todd. The game I admired as one of the first I ever set eye sockets to. It was the game of all games. The game that played that joyful, jolly tune like an ice cream truck. I finally found that idol from the ancient tribe. And that ancient tribe was my childhood. Waving its hand and saying a quick hello. It all returned for a brief reunion. And I savored it like sweet honey. How wondrous it was when I found the wondrous Wonder Boy. The journey was over, and I can go to the grass knowing I found the game. The eminent, the exciting video game in my memories. What a treat. It was always said that this guy looks like my brother, but I don't see the resemblance. 